Opening my own business has had many positive aspects to it. I have more free time for my son, so he's in daycare a lot less. I make more money than when I was working 9 to 5. And I also am my own boss, so I don't have to answer to anybody. I don't know anyone who wouldn't want to take a few extra steps that it takes to open their own business and have more free time for their friends and family, make more money, and be their own boss. It's complex to launch a business, and I'll be talking about three steps you can take to make creating your own <clears throat> business. First, I'll be talking about business plan. Second, I'll be talking about registering your business. And then third, I'll be talking about business marketing. Um, first, I'll be talking about business plan. According to Films Media, the first step you should take when starting your business is making a business plan. Um, when I started, I did it backwards, mistakenly. I registered first, and then I had got lost, and it caused a lot of delays because I didn't have my business plan first. So it's very important to have your business plan before you register. Um, your business plan has everything from where your business location will be, whether it be the internet or a actual building, what you're going to be providing services or products, how much money it'll cost to start your business, and many more things like that your business will be providing. Um, the second thing I'll be talking about today is registering your business. Uh, according to the agency that I went through, they're the ones who told me uh, it's important to do your blueprint first and then register. So the second thing you should do is register your business. Um, in Washington, you have to go through a registered agency and they have to be local in your state and have a business address so that all your legal documents can be sent to them and they handle all the paperwork. And not only that, they have a list of things that they help you with like um, business accounts, business credit, and a lot more services. But um, every agency is different and offer different services. So it's important that you research and look at the list and make sure that it fits your personal business. Um, so first I've talked about business plan and second I've talked about registering your business. The third and final thing I'll be talking about today is business marketing. According to small business strategies posted in Los Angeles Times, there are four important areas to creating a successful business, and one of them is marketing. Um, so I'm not quite done with business marketing yet. I do have some um, social media platforms, um, but really I want my business uh, website, and it's mm -hmm. under construction right now. We're still working on it. So once that's done, I think um, getting that out there is important to getting more customers and things like that. Um, but we also have business cards and brochures, and we put those places like in stores and areas that we think that people will be a lot, like a lot of traffic will go through to get those, to get our business out there, um, to get more people aware of who we are and things like that. Um, so in conclusion, it's complex to launch a business, and I've talked about three main steps that it takes to launching your own. Uh, first, I've talked about business plan, um, creating a blueprint and foundation of your business. Second, I've talked about registering your business, finding the perfect agency that works for you and your business. And the third thing i talked about is business marketing, um, finding ways to solicit your company that works for you. Although it wasn't easy to start my business and quite confusing at first, these were the three steps that I took for my business to be organized and as successful as it is today.